Uh, Yaren Beck. Cordero9 says, the album I'm uh, recommending to you is Every Letter Sent In to You by Yaren Beck. Uh, I'm not going to say much more other than you should really add this to your K-pop but actually good playlist. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. What? Uh, huh. Well, you sent in $200. This album is an hour and one minute. You're about... 349 dollars short. Huh. First song intro. Suck a dick on a sidewalk. Jacking off at a red light. Fucking old lady at a liquor store. All right. Oh, this is pretty. This part's honestly very uh, J pop. Q isn't showing anything? What do, what do you mean? Michael Jackson, amazing. Michael Phelps, amazing. OJ Simpson, amazing. Is he not? Amazing intro. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Next song, you rest. Smiley ball, no doubt. Waiting for going home feels like a thousand hours. Going on the way home feels like a thousand miles. Maybe wanna just get along and work, but it seems like it never works. I'ma get some bottles of pills on the way back home. Just wanna be free of the ground, of the wall, and I. I wanna be somewhere that no need to be clear, no need to be explained, and I just wanna rest. I wanna be somewhere that really. been sent before
just said next gen sounds dated. You said it sounds dated? How? Why am I talking about next gen? Rest is such an amazing, like, wake up in the morning feeling like 350, you know? Wake up in the morning feeling like Bill Cosby. Wow. <laughs> Wake up in the morning feeling like R. Kelly. Tell me. Um, pretty much these first two songs are the perfect setup for an album. Um, it's so unequivocally gorgeous. Feeling a nine minus on what I'm hearing so far uh, for just giving the softest touch, the most gentle care. Um, it's it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Popo, the next song. Popo, oh shit! Kick streaming ads, bro. Yo, ad block. Ad block. Where the fuck you at? Oh, yeah.
All my sleeping music. So uh, the thing about this song is, while it is impeccably produced, uh, easy on the ears, sweet as sugar, um, it also lacks a feeling of depth and atmosphere in that uh, you are able to fall into it, but I think that the lyrics are not as adventurous as they can be. If you were listening to someone like Waze Blood or whatnot, I feel like you'd get more of a focused and interesting adventure, as this feels more lave than Waze Blood, but... At the same time, I, I can't deny that the sounds are quite impressive, though the songs, the overall feeling itself is quite passive. I uh, would say, on a technical level, if I was just going off of technicals, amazing. But the previous song did such a beautiful job at setting the scene. And this is that it, it kind of feels like a tiny desk concert. Uh, it would give it a six, if I'm being honest with myself. Seven if I was, you know, saying, oh, I got to make the people. It's a six for me. Something that, again, has that stylistic, um, it's a it's stylistic black hole that is, like, again, polished extremely well. Very pretty, though, but pretty in a way that I'm not going to return to. Um, another reason, say, for example, the song that I've had on repeat in the last 24 hours is Hope by Vampire Weekend, which is a song that is gorgeous. But most importantly, the writing on that song makes it feel so much more extraordinary. Like, the writing on Hope is probably my favorite of anything I've heard from Vampire Weekend, period, ever. I mean, that song is just basically a disappointment and acceptance anthem that is so to the point with examples and it's a constant washing over feeling of just get over it almost in a way that's no in a way that's definitely very bittersweet you know but with repeated listens that that feeling just sort of strengthens you know in the sound in, in everything it's the full package a song like that is a 10 you know a song like this where I'm getting a piece of that without the full picture. Just well performed. Everyone's doing okay. I call it lounge music. Can I be you? Next song. Can I be you? Not too late to change my score and bring me the horizon. I'm aware of that. And I've already considered that. And I've decided not to because I like the album a lot. Be 
Goku Fantano videos of Warzone. Damn, man. You didn't really hook me up with this mic. It's all adjustable. I can lay back. Do this. Weakest track by far, definitely a shrug for me, is, uh... Yeah, the writing stinks. Really minimal. Not terrible, but... A far cry from the really excellent stuff that been consistently delivered up to this point all right here we go can you hear me well yeah okay not great meant to if it's meant to be hope you don't mind that i'm sinking down here Turn back on the camera, my bad. Meant to be is extraordinarily underwhelming. Feeling a shrug for sure on this, where as uh, once again the writing is so. Unex like unimaginative it's really uninspiring even though the sound is very polished next song Mr. Gloomy
this drum kit sucks. Boy. Yeah, the message here is I'm recommending an album. I'm not going to say much other than you should really add this to your K-pop, but actually good playlist. This isn't K-pop. This is a contemporary R&B lounge coffee music by someone who just happens to be Korean, you know? Song's named after me. Alex, yeah. Don't ask me. Love, love, love. DJ Kevin, we the best. Who we know? I would die every day waiting for you. If I ever had to leave, would I oh my god, my go Bring Me the Horizon on? video just blew up on with views. Really it's funny. I just saw. Do you think I should be? Sounds like a boring, updated 80s song. Like late 80s, early 90s. When 
I get my office, I think I'll just install a bed to listen to music in. Then it, whatever makes me fall asleep first wins all the prize money. This is wait. And that's going to be the end of uh, what we've been sent in from this album. And, uh, yeah, well, initially I was really excited and honestly really happy with what I was hearing. I feel like the final result of this listening experience has been overwhelmingly negative. Uh, to the point of where what I've heard now has felt more like that AI song about I saw you at the coffee shop with much better production rather than... Uh, the gorgeous awakening that was the song Rest. Um, I feel like I've been sold on a dream that is just simply not there. Uh, and for that reason, I am feeling a 5 out of 10. An album that starts off very strong and promising, but just kind of drops the ball. Yeah, a bit of an upsetting release for me personally, as I just, again, I have really high expectations for this stuff and just unfortunately feel like I was, uh, yeah, again, like falsely sold on a dream. Sad. But, whatever. Oh well. A bit of a uh, miss. Uh, Cordero9 sent this in. Thank you, Cordero9. Woo! Appreciate you. Thank you very much. You did miss an album, but it's okay. It's an album that canonically probably is not going to mean much to the grand scheme of the Brad Taste and Music camp. Unless we decide to do a group watching of the Titanic. Mm -hmm. 